Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good and necessary for edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. Potty language is not of God. It does nothing but hurt your brother. What's that? Yes, sir. Yeah, go for it, man. God bless you. Read, read it every day, man. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. It says, uh, children of God, abide in his word. If you abide in his word, you are his, his disciple indeed. But you must abide in his word. That's not just listening to it and then hearing it and then going away and forgetting what matter of man you are. The Bible says, do not be hearers of the word, but doers. Do not be hearers only, but doers of the word. If you abide in his word, you will not sin. That's what the book of 1 John says. It also says that if you sin, you are of the devil. For the devil has sinned for the beginning. If you practice righteousness, you will be righteous just as he is righteous. Anybody who hates his brother and does not practice righteousness is not of God. That's what the word of God says. I got free Bibles here. Anybody wants to come over here and get some bread of life? Bread of life. The word of God is 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 the bread of life. Jesus crucified to deliver us from our sins, from our sins, from them. He came to save his people from their sins, from their sins, not in their sins. You need to, you need to confess Jesus. If you confess Jesus and abide in Jesus, you will not sin. You must obey his commandments. He says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. He says, if you are my friend, you will do as I tell you. He says, if you are my friend, you will do as I tell you. Obey the Lord. Don't just hear the word and go about your own will. No, but do the will of the Father. Do the will of God. Obey him. Give him glory in all that you do. Everything that you do. Word and deed. Do not love one another in tongue or in word, but instead love each other in deed and in truth. Love is an action. It's not words. The love of the world is words. It uh, tickles your your emotions. Follow Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father but through Jesus. Do you glorify God in all that you do? Or do you glorify the devil? Come and get a Bible so you can learn to do good so you can cease to do evil and learn to do good. The Bible is the word of God, inspired by the Holy Spirit. This is, this is the book that you will be judged by, and you will be judged. God will render to each one according to his deeds, eternal life to those who by patient continuance in doing good, seek for glory, honor, and immortality, but to the self-seeking and disobedient, self-seeking and disobedient will receive indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish on every soul of man who does evil. Do not practice lawlessness. Yes. Yes, the, uh, the authorities that we have over us in this in this life the authorities that we have over us in this life 
that authority has been given to them by God. And they, they do not bear the sword in vain. And the, the Bible says if you do not want to be afraid of the law, then stop breaking it. Yes. If you do not want to be afraid of the law, then stop breaking it. You need to follow Jesus Christ. Because down here, this is, this is just the law of man. But in everything you do, everything, God is watching. And he's writing it all down. All things are naked and open to the eyes of whom we must give an account. You will give an account one day for the deeds done in the body. You will. He sees it all. So obey him. Follow Jesus. They're free, ma'am. Oh, they are? Yeah. Well, thank you. You're so welcome. God bless you guys. Read it every day. If you abide in his word, you are his disciple indeed. How many of you read the word of God today? How many of you fed your spirit? How many of you fed your spirit? How many of you fed your flesh? How many of you fed your flesh and not your spirit? Do you not know to whom you present yourselves, slaves to obey? You are that one's slave whom you obey, whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness. Do you obey? Do you obey the spirit or do you obey your own flesh? Make no mistake. You will be judged for the deeds done in your flesh. You're supposed to put your body into subjection subjection your body is not in control of you it's not this supernatural mysterious power in your skin and your flesh that makes you sin no you sin when your desire when your own desires are enticed yes god did not make you you were not born sinners you learned this you did sin. Everybody has. At one point in their life, they have transgressed against God. And they have separated themselves from the Lord. But praise the Lord in his mercy. He's made a way. You can be reconciled back to him through his son. You can be forgiven of your sins. If you would just confess the Lord and turn from them but you must turn from your sins it's called repentance you must walk in holiness and godliness righteousness follow jesus christ in all of your ways don't feed your flesh don't feed your flesh feed the spirit don't feed your flesh. Feed the spirit. You're not giving glory to God. Yeah, man. Yeah. God bless you, brother. Read it every day, man. You got to obey it. Book of James says, Do not be a forgetful hearer of the word, but be a doer. Said it'll be, it'll be like a, don't be like a man who beholds his face in the mirror, and then when he walks away, forgets what matter of man he was. This man is a double-minded man, unstable in all of his ways. Do the words out of your mouth match your actions. That's, that's what's important. Because uh, out of your mouth proceeds the abundance of the heart. Do the words out of your mouth match your actions. Do you love your brother? You say you love your brother, you say you love your sister, but do you hate them with your actions? Selflessness. That's what the Lord taught you to be lowly. If anybody among you professes to be wise, let him become a fool so that he may become wise. Because God will catch the wise in their craftiness. 
Yeah, go ahead, man. Praise God. That's what I'm here for, brother. Yeah, God bless you. God bless you. I've been cleaning off drugs for maybe two years. Amen. 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 I talked to the guy that was in here last time. I see your AA there. That's the, my year the right medallion. there. That's the year? Yeah. Well, good job, brother. Yeah, I've been clean. God bless you. God I bless had you. surgery Monday on my leg. I had skin graft. Amen. I'm going to pick up the scriptures now. I would talk to you for a minute about this bus. Okay, cool. But I need another Bible. I tore up. My, my mother Bible got wet. Yeah. So I've been reading my Bible, reading my A, 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 A book. Yeah. Uh, God spoke to me one day. Amen. Tell he me. He said, George, what you going to do with the rest of your life? Amen. I said, who said that? It was him. Amen. I saw looking through all those papers that my government county jail gave me. Yeah. I went to Salvation Army. I've been clean ever since. Praise God. Turned my life all around. That's what me too, man. Same so thing now, here. I got my relationship back with my mom, my brother, his kids. This I can't I can't I can't hardly believe it. My mom said I don't worry about you anymore. Hey man. I know you're gonna do the right thing. Yeah, that's right. So I take it one day I still fall short. We all are. We all fall short of going to God, but I, I I ask God to forgive me. Every time I do something wrong. My mom said, We all sin. So but you gave your your life to Jesus, you you going to heaven. These other things you got to work on because you feel good because the Holy Spirit is convicting you of it. Amen, that's right. You got to work on it. That part, yes, amen. Okay. He says if you abide in his word, you have no reason for stumble. Right. He says that, so read that First John. Okay, First John. First John, yeah, he says you have no reason for stumble. This, this world will teach you that you will fail. Okay. Okay? But, but let me tell you, brother. All things are possible through God who strengthens you. Okay. You can live like you can go on without sinning anymore. Okay. That's because Jesus told us to okay, do that, thanks. brother. God okay. bless you, all right? I'll see you next time. Amen. Yeah. I'll be here. Yes. Jesus is able to change your life. He is able to, to completely change your life from from wickedness and lawlessness he is able to free you from the bondage that you are caught in that bondage of iniquity he says but you must die you have to die you have to die and become a new creation you must become a new creature a new creature. You have to become a new creature. Behold, all things have passed away. Behold, all things are new. Okay? When I was a child, I thought as a child. I behaved as a child. But when I became a new creation, when I, when the Lord gave me maturity, when I was mature, when I became a man, a man of God, I behaved as a man. I don't do the childish things anymore. I don't, I don't fulfill the lusts of the flesh. If you sow to the flesh, you will reap corruption and death. You must sow to the Spirit so that you may receive everlasting life. Sow to the Spirit. You need to sow to the Spirit, not to the flesh. Your cigarettes, booze, your porn, your, your filthy language out of your mouth. All these things are sowing to the flesh. Prayer. Fruits of the Spirit, acts of righteousness, these are things that sow to the Spirit. Obedience is sowing to the Spirit. Sow to the Spirit, then receive everlasting life. Look, you're not saved in your sin. I don't care what your pastors tell you. You must be freed from that sin. Because without holiness, no one will see the Lord.
Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. So follow Jesus. Seek the Lord while he may be found. I tell you right now, knowing the terror of the Lord, because you are supposed to fear God and keep his commandments, you call upon the Father who without partiality judges according to each one's works. Spend your time throughout your stay here in fear. The Bible says, knowing the terror of the Lord, we seek to persuade men. Go for it, bud. Yeah. God bless. You want one, boss? All right. God bless. Follow Jesus Christ. I tell you, a man just came to me, been sober for two years. I myself, I myself, I've been sober for four years. I was addicted to all kinds of drugs, alcohol, porn, sin. I was addicted to sin is what I was addicted to. And Jesus Christ saved me. Jesus Christ saved me. I have to go get my medicine at CVS. Uh -huh. I lost my monthly dose pass. You wouldn't happen to. I don't see me. Yeah. I don't have any money on me, and I don't. I don't usually. It's I, it's always oh. plastic. I don't. I don't carry money on me. Sorry, I man. I usually don't either. Yeah. I, don't want to get my dose pass. I mean, I. You've been asked a couple times, and and so I, I thought maybe I should carry some money, yeah. you know, because because I don't mind. I really don't yeah. mind giving That's it. That's seventy-five cents. How much do you need for that? Two bucks. I, see, see, I don't even have. And that's supposed right. to get me there. Sorry, I didn't even mean to ask because I. No, I don't even a, have a, 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 we need to know a daily pass is yeah. four bucks. Four dollars? Yeah. Okay. If I can get just get down to Grand View. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Where, I don't even know where, where. How far down there is that? It is off Grand Avenue. I have to go under the bridge. It's way down there. Yeah. I've walked it before and it's like away. It's tough? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm. It's cool. But thank you, because yeah. you, you, by you doing this, you have helped me to prepare for the next time, you know, yeah. for but the next yeah, time. Yeah, that's all it is for, but, but I Amen. used to just carry it for day passes. Yeah, yeah. But now it's like... Where do you get day passes? Because I'd rather give a person a day pass. Go in there and ask them for the day passes. Okay. You buy them Did, now? Do I have to buy one on that day, or can I buy one for like, and then just use it any random day? You can use it any random day. Like the shelter down there, yeah, yeah. they give them out to the ladies. They expire like, I think it's like two months late. Okay, so that's, that. okay, yeah. so I won't get too many of them, but I'll get some to where, you know, yeah. people, I can give them that. Because I used to do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. But now I'm having help with my grandson. Thank you. He's got a yeah. donut that enters and doesn't cover with any medicine. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. Do you, do you have a Bible? Yeah, okay. I have several. several. And I do Bible study. You want a Bible? I do Bible study at the uh, shelter uh, on Saturdays at one the women's shelter down there. Yeah. They call me Mom and Sharon down there. But there are two ladies down there who need Bibles. We don't care if we take two for them because Saturday one. Yeah. There's only two of them that I need. There's, okay. Yeah. Right. And that way I can give them to them on Saturday. Yeah. I, I get paid Friday. I'm gonna go purchase some bikes. Let's save me. Thank you. Praise God. I, yeah, I, I don't mind at all. I, yeah. I, I buy a whole bunch of these. I like to give them out. A Saturday at one, I'd have it in the meditation room. I do Bible studies with the ladies. They come up to the top, and then I research it all week. And then we do it. What's the one? What's the topic you got right now? What's the one? It's you're on? endurance. Endurance. So yeah. Ooh, endurance. It's deep. Yes. So I've got a book. You have to <laughs> endure. Right you have to endure yeah. to the end to exactly. receive the salvation of exactly. your souls. Exactly. Amen. Yeah. And, you know, like last Saturday I gave him Ephesians 6.10, putting on body armor of Christ. Yeah. yeah. Yielding that shield of faith. Mm -hmm. Praise exactly. God. We have quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Exactly. Go for it, boss. God all bless right. you. Thank you. You're I'm welcome. I'm going to go here and get my meds. All right. So God will provide. Amen. Will provide. He will. He will. Thank Amen. You, boss. What's that? <laughs> you had to throw yours out? Yeah, I had to go through my room and uh, treat it for bed bugs. Oh, had no! This, had this book collection. It, uh, I had a bunch of books. Yeah? They got things in my body. Yeah, well, they'll hide in those, won't oh, they? they get in there. Man. 
there. You'll have that. Got nothing up there. Got a new mattress and box spray. Praise God, good. Yeah, I left the pla I, I left the plastic on it and put these sheets on it. Here, here's a bookmark. Here's a bookmark. Yeah. yeah. You guys just go out on the streets? I do. Oh. Dayton Street Preachers. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, uh, I, I know that guy. I know both of them, a few of them. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm just, I, I just, I, I'm by myself. I don't, I don't have anybody to. to get the box? I was wondering. I order them. I order them. Uh, I order them in bulk. You know, I get, I get a whole bunch of them and. I mean, I got, I have another box of, uh, I think, 30 in my truck, and, and I like uh, these because it's the New King James. I have a hard time with yeah. the New King James. A lot of people have time with that old English, but, yeah. but what I, what I've found is like, this is a good, this is a good one to just get started, and then because uh, the the King James is like yeah. I think the it's best. Got the, it's got the chapters, it's got the yeah. book headings, and it, yeah, you know, it breaks down where. Uh, Chapters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I try to, I, I try not to read those too often. Like the book I have, I don't have that in there because, uh, because it's, it's like, hey, bud. Hey, God bless you, man. Um, the I don't like to read that part because it lays that foundation in my mind for what I want the Holy Spirit to teach me. You know what I mean? So I don't want man to, to tell me what's in that. I want I want the Holy Spirit to tell me what's there. There still is, you know, we should all be taught the Word of God. I but, could do more of a text, uh, textual study. Yeah. Um, so every now and then when I'm reading it, yeah, you know, a verse or something will jump out at me. Yeah, man. In the, the spiritual way too. Much. Well, it's a living and powerful book. The Word of God is living and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, able to cut between the soul and spirit. This I saw one yesterday. It was, a, it was a picture. It was some guy at a, uh, one of the protests. Yeah. At a sign. It was a chapter from Isaiah. It was a verse from Isaiah. It said, uh, something about nothing, nothing man does or builds can stand against me. Yes. Uh, no. Yeah. No. If nothing will, it'll will prosper against the word of God. Yeah, yeah, something yeah, like I can't. Was in there. Nothing, some, no one, nothing man right. builds or nothing man does. Work. Right. It goes along with nothing. like Romans where it says that nothing will separate you from the love of God. Nothing can't, nothing outside of yourself can separate you from the word of God. Well, from the love of God. Because he loves each and every one of us, but he hates the workers of iniquity. He says that. He says he hates the workers of iniquity and that he's ang he's he's angry at the wicked every day. He's he <laughs> hates sin. He can't, he hates it. He does he was not going to allow it into his kingdom. And uh, it gives us a way out. He exactly. Uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 10:13 says, "No temptation will overtake you except that which is common to man." Common to man. So it's always it's nothing too hard that you can't handle he says that uh he says that in his long suffering he um and he he will make a way of escape so that you will be able to bear it you'll always be able to bear it it's just no everybody suffers from a little temptation here and there i i, I still do um you know and right <laughs> right 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 but he says, he says in uh, Hebrews 10, 26, he says, If anybody sins willfully after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins. And if you know to do good and do not do it, the book of James says this. I love James. Yes. That was my favorite. That's my favorite book. My, my son's name is James because of that. Man. So he says, If you know to do good and do not do it, to him it is sin. So if you know to do good. It's about the knowledge. Like uh, it starts with the knowledge, right? Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And when you when you start hearing the word of God, 
and you start getting convicted about things and you start attaining the knowledge, then, then you're supposed to drop these things once you've been given the truth. With, uh, my mom called them sins of omission. If you know you mission. Do right then, don't do it. It's just as bad as doing it. So, uh, so yeah, man. Uh, you know, I encur I would encourage you to to to, to stop and smoke because it's 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 temporary. It's, it's, it's a, my last bad habit. It's a I've it's a temporary up, relief. I've kicked some horrible habits in here. Yeah, this is the last one. That's the last one. <laughs> the last one. What? There are some bad ones, drugs and alcohol. And all kinds you know, of stuff. yeah, I came I came out of that same thing. Same thing. The last bad habit that I had was uh, was dip. I used, oh, yeah. yeah, like I got rid of the cigarettes because that that stuff just hurt my lungs. But I still dipped because still I didn't know that I was dip. destroying my body. Like I didn't think about it like that. But First Corinthians three uh, says, "Do you not know that you are the temple of God, and the Spirit of God dwells in you? If 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 the temple, or if anyone should defile the temple of God, God will destroy him. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. So it's." You, you defile the temple with that. I realized it. It convicted me. I, I fought with it. Like, I fought with it for a little bit. But if you... the A woman just came over here and was talking about endurance. If you endure, if you suffer that patiently and you you, you endure that temptation, you, you don't, don't do it for, like, a few days. That's in James. Man, it'll... Yeah, let patience have its perfect work. So... That's beautiful. The, yeah, I love it. Because it produces <laughs> perseverance, character, hope. It produces all of these things. And that's what God's looking for in, in us is, is for us to be changed, right? To, for, to purge out the, the leaven and, and, and become a new lump. Uh, a new lump. So, so what I was saying was, um, man, I... Fought with it for a few days and I was praying real hard. I wasn't doing it. And one morning I woke up and it was gone. I could I could feel the difference. Like I felt I the difference where it just There's the, a guy that runs an office over here for yeah. AA is their central service office. Yeah. He's been sober probably 20, 30 years. Yes. He said he just got down on his knees one day and asked God to take it away from him. He's been sober. Amen. But he still stays active. That well, you so, you have to you have to keep feeding that. You have to keep feeding the spirit because if you if you stop if you stop it stop praying stop reading the word stop feeding your spirit you'll lose you'll lose the strength to uh, fight against the flesh. So that's why that's why Jesus was always in prayer. He was always doing the word of God. Yeah, yeah, man. It's, uh, but there's a there's somebody. It's a really well produced movie. You can see it on YouTube. It's, it's, yeah. And the uh, it's like word for word. Word for word. Yeah, the Gospel the of John. The Gospel of John acted out. It's really good. Yeah. It is good. And the only uh, what do you call it? Uh, the, Script? The script, yeah. The, the script is only the, uh, the, the gospel of John itself. The yeah. entire script. They just act the whole thing out. Yeah. It's very good. A lot of it is, yeah, it's, it is. I mean, I love it. I love it too, man. It's, it is really good. I can't remember what they call it. I think it's just called Just the, the gospel, gospel of John. That's what oh, it's called. It? Yeah. That's like two or three hours long. It's yeah. Really long. Yeah, it's, it's three, long. it's three hours yeah. long, man. Yeah. So, that much. So what are you doing right now? Uh, right now I'm headed over to the store. I guess the food. Okay. I'm going to go back and take a shower. Go to... This year I've given up, well, since the beginning of May. Cocaine since the beginning of May. Alcohol was 17 days ago. And uh, just marijuana this year. Great God, man. Good job. Good job. Way to go. Almost too good. You know, anybody, anybody could stay sober. Anybody can stay sober under their own strength, even even by even by like uh, putting their strength in other men. Like that's what AA and NA is, right? They they're 
they, they say that um, the group as a whole is a, a power greater than yourself, right? But but the thing is, the, the Word of God says, uh, Blessed is he who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. And it says, Cursed is he who trusts in flesh and makes flesh man. Trust in man and makes flesh his strength. So make sure that you don't don't fall for that because that, that's the spirit of the Antichrist, man. Like making flesh your strength. Yeah, I don't have a sponsor. I'm on a meeting sometimes just for social aspect of people. And I do run across people. There's a little talk yeah, that's a biblical group. thing, yeah. yeah but it's rooted in scripture. I've seen that, yeah. Because I, I was in NA and AA as well. Four years ago I, is when I, I gave it all up and found the Lord. And, uh, I mean, it's... I, I still stayed in NA for a few months after I found Christ, but I slowly I started seeing, like, they don't, they don't confess Jesus in these... They, it's a, a spiritual, non-religious program, and if it's if they don't confess Christ, it is it is an antichrist. Yeah, no, I've heard some dumb things. Well, just use that tree. Well, what do you can do if somebody comes along and cuts down the tree? Well, it's not. Yeah, <laughs> don't worship <laughs> idols. You know, yeah, like don't it's do that. You, Jesus is the only way. That's it. There's a guy down here. Have you ever been to the Gospel Mission? No. Nah. It's a it's like an inner city mission down here off of South Maine. Yeah. And uh, the guy that runs his name is basically, his name is Pastor King Clarkson. What time is it, real quick? Time is Okay, thank you. Um, and he knows the scripture very well. Yeah. So go in there, and there's about a half hour sermon. It's just him preaching. And he gives a good sermon. And then they feed a meal downstairs. They've got this buffet. Yeah. And you go through this. If you leave here hungry, there's something on you. Place of design is set up for you on the streets. Yeah. I used to go just for food. Now I go to here. That's your kid. And he'll lay it on you. <laughs> he will lay it on you. Well, man, that's what's awesome about uh, the Word of God. Good. Is when people start hearing it, their faith is increased and they'll want to hear more of it. Because truly deep down, you know where life is. And it's 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 right in here. It's in these pages. All life is in these pages, and we got to make sure we obey them. Now, I gotta go. all right, buddy. Yes, you can give up your sin today. Confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, and you can be saved from your sins from them follow Jesus Christ repent of your sins and be born again you must be born again in order to receive the kingdom of heaven.